Hello guys, John T500 here with some more My Summer Car. So there have been a few days and we are on Friday and I've finally gotten some more parts to put on. So I made some money, went and picked up everything, so... Time for some more unboxings in-game and also, you know, getting the car ready because it's Friday in-game and the rally is on Saturday, so... I uh, will install these parts and then I will... Uh, enter the rally. Okay, so let's start off by opening this. I have a feeling I know what it is. this is. Oh yeah, the wheels, the rally wheels. So that will be step one. Uh, let me get the correct spanner for the wheels. So we will install the new wheels. And those hubcaps will not be needed anymore. Okay, uh, so... Let's, oh, maybe I should lift up the car first. Oops. Uh, like that. Let's put that into position and... Uh, maybe not there in the middle let's get the car up in the air like that oh that didn't look too good all right let's see where do we have the front left that's the front Right, front right. Okay, that should be front right. Oops. Come on. Okay, uh, do we have the front left right here? Let's go straight to work on that then. Yeah, that is off. All right, front wheels are on. Let's move on to the back. Okay, the car seems to be moving forward a bit, so I need to speed it up. Speed this up. Or maybe it's just something. In tri oh, it might be the triangle in the trunk, actually. Right, re right rear. That is moving, I'm making. Uh, also looked like a fuel tank is moving a bit. I might be lifting it up by the fuel tank, so... But let's just get all this stuff on before it goes into the ground again. <laughs> Oh, no. Come on. All right, we are safe. The whole the car is in place. All the wheels are now attached. New wheels, new rims. No more rusty, crappy wheels with crappy hubcaps. Beautiful. So let's. Get these wheels out of here. And now, let's see what we get here. Okay, so here we have the whole fender package. And I know these are just, I just need to slap them on, break basically. So let's start with the front spoiler, like that. Then the, that's right front, so that should, right front, come on. Uh, what is the issue? Right front, yeah, come on. Let's, let me try something else. This is right rear.
Oh my god, it's so annoying. There. And... Front left. Okay, the front seems to be bugged. Let me remove that if that's the issue. I need to place that after I put on these. Okay, um... No worries, this can happen from time to time, so I might need to restart the game. To get everything to work as it should, but at least I can... Can't put on that either. Okay, uh, I'm gonna restart the game, say, but now we need to open up a couple of more packages. Uh, in here we have the... Oh, that's the window thing. Okay, that seems to go on. Like that, and... Get this package, see what we get. Okay, that's the spoiler. We get the spoiler on. And these things here should be... I think one of them is the subwoofers. Oh, here are the subwoofers. Let me... Mm, okay, I need to go through the car. This is the right one. This should be in a bit of a bitch, but okay. Subwoofers in. And then this last thing should be the steering wheel. There it is. Let's take this out and throw it towards the truck where it should be. Let's take care of our little thirst problem. Okay, so let's try to put these fenders on again. Okay, they seem to be an issue, so I'm gonna save and, and you know, save and, and jump back in. Hopefully they will work then. Are you serious? Like, what? Come on! Okay, let me say I'm largely, anno largely annoyed with this. I don't know why it won't allow me to put these on. Front. What? Did I put them the wrong way earlier? Well, I guess I'm just stupid. Either they gave me the wrong information or I completely like just fuck my brain just went for a, a nap. <laughs> okay, um, uh, that's largely annoying, but okay, I guess. And let's get the steering wheel. I think that is number or size 10 or something like that. Need to get the old one off and the new one in. It was size 10. So. There we go. The steering wheel, that steering wheel. Throw it away and get the new one. Okay, the new steering wheel is in, and now, of course, we need. Oh, here we go. Forgot about this. Now we need to color those, of course, so I'm gonna make them orange. Mostly just because, you know, the hood is orange, so it helps to blend in with the rest of the car, so we don't want, you know, a lot of different colors breaking it up, so. Let's do some coloring. Mm, 
Okay, so... Oh, wait, this. Is it weird that that looks brighter than the other? Must be the, the lighting. It's darker down there. Okay, but this car seems... Like, I, I could still color the window grill. I'm gonna see what looks better. I don't know if I like it that way. I think I actually like that thing black. Yeah, I think it's it's a little bit too much orange if that is. But does it look better in matte black? Mmm, ah, it breaks up the color a little bit too much. I think I think the this black is better. Okay, so the car is pretty much as done as it's gonna get. Let's do a slow turnaround. See how it looks. I don't know. I think it looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is prepare for the the rally that it's tomorrow morning. The car is done. I know it's it's full of gas and actually let me check all the fluids. All right, I'm not gonna show. I'm I'm gonna check all the fluids, make sure that everything is good in the car, and then I'm gonna you know go and race it in the rally. It's just gonna be nice. So let me actually get start with the coolant and oil and everything and just and just look through it. Okay, so all the fluids were good. All the flu fluids are are good to go. So now I guess all I need to do is just prepare and then you know save before. Before I do anything else, or just, you know, get all everything ready and sleep out the time. It's gonna be good. Like, I have actually never done the rally myself. And, like, oh, something has always happened that it caused me not to be able to, to be in the rally. Alright, it's uh, Saturday morning, 10 a.m. And uh, I think it's time to go for a rally. Uh, first of all, we need to grab the envelope. I managed to... Uh, I The only thing I have in this envelope for order is the racing tires. And I thought like I might need those in the future if I want to do... If there's something special, I should do so. I'm going to take that with me and uh, put it in the, in the box because the rally ends in town. I've also saved, so if something goes really, really wrong during the rally... I'm pretty much set to do, you know, help out with that. So what I'm gonna do, uh, the fuel mixture thing, I read about it and I could lean it out a bit, to be honest, for the race, but I think I'm not gonna do that. I think 14 as I have should be more than enough to, to suit me for the race, so. This new wheel is much smaller and it's harder to see the gauges, but I should be alright. So let's get our engine temperature up a little bit before we go. And it can heat up the rest of the way while we're driving. I've had problems in, in earlier saves about the radiator getting busted. I hope that won't happen again. I think this is good. The engine should be hot when, when we arrive at the start. I'm definitely running. It's it's cold. The car is pretty cold still, so that's why it's... It's misfiring a bit. With this visa should have more grip at least. I hope the game... Uh, that they included that in the game. Yeah, ma it's... Uh, Noticeable to myself that I haven't raced the car in a long while because I've, I'm feeling a little bit weird while driving it. 
but it's definitely more grippy than I remember so the rally wheel seems to be helping me so hopefully that will allow me to get a good time in the rally sprint and maybe even get first place that would be nice <laughs> okay we are up at running normal temperatures I uh, need to keep a look out for the temperature hopefully it won't go up any further and we will be able to do a, a smooth rally run and uh, also the, r the first part of the rally will most likely be the most dangerous part that's you know the dangerous road I always try and avoid that's the first part of the rally track so that's uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna be careful really really careful in the first part of the rally race and um, I'm gonna take it more chill or, uh, or I'm gonna like uh, on the b long back straights I will I will you know let the car run a little bit harder no well, this is a huge risk this whole rally thing I'm definitely worried that I might crash because I'm I might be try harding this a little bit too much that I'm sure will do fine. I'll uh, be a li take it a little safe, more safe than I like feel like doing. Just so we can see how mu how hard how fast you actually have to go to do this. At least I get some reverse track practice here. All right, here is the starting grid, but I think I. I need to go and uh, sign up or something. At least I need to turn the car around, so. Let's turn it around. Let's go and talk to this guy. At least the fuel mixture seems to be correct. Okay, so I seem to have passed everything for the registration marks so then there's the 500 marks participation fee I have that well let's do this <laughs> 